Well, we're traveling across the top of Oregon, right along the Columbia River. We came into this small town called the Dalles. Where is there to eat here in the Dalles? Actually, there's a lot of places to eat. The one place that we decided is Burgerville. Why? Well, we like those little regional burger joints, and Burgerville is really only seen up in Oregon and Washington. I think they've been around for like 60 years, but they stay tucked up here in the Northwest. We're gonna go inside and check them out. Let's go. Walking through the door, this feels at first glance like any other fast food restaurant, but it has kind of like a vintage soda shop appeal to it. Now you order at the counter, but you're, they're gonna take your order. They're going to give you a number and they're gonna bring your food to the table. Now the menu is pretty typical of a fast food hamburger joint with some seasonal twists. So there's gonna be some items on there that are only offered because they're in season. Like right now is the strawberry, strawberry milkshake, strawberry sundae, or I think it's like a strawberry shortcake or something. <laughs> they do source their ingredients from local farms and dairies, which is really cool. In fact, on their website, they link to all of the vendors that they use. So you can actually research where your food's coming from. Now, I ordered mine in a basket form, which meant mine came with a drink. It's just a Diet Coke. I won't get you too excited, but I am excited about the fact that their straws are biodegradable. So like, we usually um, don't use a straw or, ugh, gotta be Hulk to open this thing, not really. We usually don't use a straw or we bring our own metal straws and we just wash them. So it's kind of nice when you go into a restaurant that kind of like shares your affection for the environment. Thank you. I decided to try their strawberry milkshake because strawberries, I mean, face it, up in the Northwest, that's the best strawberries. So if you can get a fresh strawberry milkshake from the Northwest, pretty good let's see how it tastes hang on for a second oh, that's really good if you can actually get this frozen rock hard material to get through that straw Maybe if I warm it with my hands a little bit hang on here yeah that's really refreshing I don't usually like cold fruity things but I'm gonna try this <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why is it always too hot or too cold for me? It's so crazy. We are gonna be in Oregon a lot this summer and I'm hoping we can um, come back to one of the Burgervilles because I believe they have a season with blackberries. <laughs> did I just triple quote that? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> it's super legit. <laughs> I have a long history with Burgerville because as a kid, I lived in Vancouver, Washington, which happens to be the location of the very first Burgerville. Um, in fact, one of my siblings, it was their first job working at Burgerville, and um, it kind of like set the bar for me for a hamburger joint. Let's see if it's as good as I remember it. <laughs> I didn't even get a hamburger. <laughs> I decided to go with the crispy halibut sandwich and I ordered it in a basket as I mentioned so it also comes with french fries. Um, the halibut sandwich is going to have a, it's a very small crispy fish patty with some lettuce and it looks like tartar sauce. Looks okay. I mean I have to keep it in mind it is a fast food restaurant. Well, The fish tastes really good. The patty is a little thin and a little dry around the edge. It's also really small. Like, this is my hand. And I don't have that big a hand. So, I don't know. I feel like the, this would be the size of a sandwich you'd get in like a kid's meal. Let's try the french fries. Oops. Now there's one on the floor. Mm. Mm. They're good. They're good. I think I'm gonna go get some ketchup or something else to dip them in. And they, they taste fine. They're salty, they're really warm. They're great. Mm. Well, I gotta say I'm a little confused and I have to say it's because of something Amy touched on on her burger. Check it out, my burger's got, it's got lettuce and cheese and all kinds of pickles and mayo. 
they call this their colossal burger. Okay? Their colossal burger. There's my hand. You, I completely hit it, right? All you see is lettuce. And it has one little teeny tiny patty on it. Now, cool I job. was understanding that the Colossal Burger has a half a pound of meat. No, you have to ask for it to have a half a pound of meat. So then it's only a kind of Colossal Burger. But let's give it a shot here. That yellow sauce is Burgerville sauce, by the way. That's their oh. own homemade. Okay. Well, I have to say, for a fast food burger, it is really small, but it is freaking delicious. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. Let me take another bite. Mm. That is a really good fast food burger. Now, I didn't get fries on the side because you guys know me. I got fried pickles. So I'm going to try it two different ways. I'm going to try it straight. Actually, those are better than some bar um, um, fried pickles that I've had. So, good job, uh, Burgerville. But they gave me some sauce, which apparently doesn't open very well. I don't want to spill it. Got to be careful. Did that's not. That's not real convenient. Didn't he say that was like sweet and spicy? Sweet and spicy. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of wet and messy now. Okay. It's really sweet. <clears throat> Here's the spicy. That is really good sauce. I think, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna dip my burger in it. Let's see. That is the messiest burger, but am I being a slob? Am I talking about my mouth like my just talking away? Sorry about that. I'm gonna try one of these fries because Amy says they're pretty good. Mmm. We're kind of flavorless. There's a little bit of flavor in there, but yeah, probably need something like mayo or ketchup or horseradish or something. Well, Amy got a fish witch. Wait a minute, is a fish witch from another restaurant? I think it probably is. It's like the lunch. School lunch menu name. <laughs> it's it's a is, cafeteria sandwich. This is okay. A crispy halibut sandwich. Mm, mm, is it really halibut? Let's see. Mm. Well, it looks like halibut. Sure. It's okay, but I think in Oregon we're gonna get a lot better fish sandwiches than that. Ooh, I gotta bite into this colossal sandwich before Paul finishes it. Mm. Mm. I love that Burgerville sauce. It's like tangy. I don't know what they mix it with. Shh. Just kidding. I'm spelling on myself now. Paul's stealing food off of him. <laughs> Paul <laughs> stealing food off of his own plate. Sorry, I have tomatoes falling here. Okay. I'm also gonna try the fried pickle. Mm. You know, true story, when I was a kid, I never, never ate pickles, relish, anything like that. And I like them now. I'm not like a pickle spear eater. Like, I don't, you know, they put it like a garnish. I don't usually eat it like that. It's a bit too much. Mm. <laughs> okay. What do you think of that sauce? That sauce? is yummy, it, it is sweet. It reminded me at first taste of something you get at a Chinese food restaurant. And then the heat hits you, and you're like, woo! So I think that mixed with the pickle, it's actually really nice. It's like a nice pair up there. 
comparing things at Burger Bell. Mm, there's, mm -hmm. there's a pair well with and the uh, mm -hmm. strawberry milk. Let me think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even goof off like that. <laughs> well, overall, what did we think of Burgerville? It was actually really good. When we came inside, it was clean, it was quiet, the staff was very helpful, the menu was had a lot of options on it. When we ordered our food, all of the produce was fresh on it, the bread was good. Um, everything was really good. I think the only problem that I had with it, and I think Amy had too, was the size of the sandwiches. They did seem kind of small. I mean, we paid almost $40. With a tip. With a tip. They do ask you if you'd like to give a tip, which is kind of different in fast food, but whatever went in Rome. But we paid almost $40 for those two little burgers, fries, a delicious strawberry milkshake, and a drink. And oh, oh, and fried pickles. So it seemed kind of like a pretty high bill. Um, but the, like I said, the food was good. Maybe we're not um, totally full. Maybe we'll have to go and grab another snack while we're in town. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you ring the bell, you'll get notifications when we put out new content. In addition, leave us some comments, you know, if you have recommendations of places you think that we should stop by and do a review, or if you just wanna say hi to us, we love hearing from you. We want to encourage you as well to reach out to your local food bank, food shelter, or whatever organization helps feed the hungry people in your community. They might need um, some donations or even just some time spent at their facility. Um, because, you know, that's a really important way that you can help the people that live around you and it makes you feel good too. So until we dine together again, stay classy.